said the time of death was 16 after 4. They found her body lying there when they broke down her door. Well, I guess I've been making slow, steady progress on the American market for, for years. Yeah. Uh, when I say slow and steady, I'm basically a songwriter, so I, so I create music. And the whole idea is to promote that in, in either of two ways, both as an artist, as a performer of that music and those songs, and uh, pitching those songs to other artists. So uh, primarily though, a songwriter is your strong number one? Rather than, rather than the performer, you think? Uh, they're, they're, they're probably equal, although I spent many years performing other people's songs the way, the way most musicians do. But I, I made a decision about, gosh, about 20 odd years ago, 25 years ago, I made a decision to, <clears throat> to start replacing the Johnny Cash songs I was doing to, to, by, the, by the, the method of replacement. I would swap a song of my own in the set each night. I, s I spent many years playing in Bad Bob's backstage bar in Dublin and this is where I started the experiment. So instead of doing Ring of Fire on a particular night, I'd slip in one of my own songs. And if it worked, uh, if I got away with it, I said, well, uh, there must be something there. Gradually build, so gradually building, building the replacement thing. So after a period of about three or four years, I had replaced the entire set. And I've been performing original music now for 25 years. I don't do anybody else's songs anymore. So that, that's how it happened. Well, now my life is over. I've reached my journey's end. Nobody came to save me. Nobody to defend. No one to call my lover. No one to call a friend. Judge and the jury My first little smidgen of success was at um, a thing called the Glinsk Song Contest, about 20 odd years ago. I had been opening up for Johnny Cash on, on Johnny Cash's last Irish tour. My son and I opened up as the, as the opening act. And I had written a song for Johnny and I, I said, if I get this to Johnny Cash, I'll be rich and famous. So uh, I made cassette copies at the time and I gave one to his manager and one to him and one to the musical director and one to the bass guitarist and one to the truck driver. And uh, when I got home then I said to my wife, I'm going to be rich and famous. And of course nothing ever happened. He, he never recorded the song. <laughs> but I entered the same song, for the Clint so Song Contest, and it took first prize. And I got, at the time, the prize was a thousand euro and a, and a trophy. And I took that as a great encouragement, and I said, well, I must be doing something reasonably right, you know. So I began to study the, the, the art of songwriting, uh, spent a lot of time going back and forth to the States, particularly Nashville, learning to write with other writers. And, and then about 12, 15 years ago, I sent a song to a fellow called Bill Wyman. He's the, he was the bass player with the Rolling Stones. And Bill recorded the song on his, with his band on, on his album. And that did very well around Europe. And that again was an encourager. Um, and I got a song recorded by Albert Lee, the, the, the famous guitarist. And so I've been slipping songs into the system now for a number of years. And I'm still out. I'm still out. We're, we're here tonight with uh, Nathan Carter. And I just gave Nathan a couple of songs. So you, you never know. This is one I wrote about it. A man who puts everything off until tomorrow and it should be done today. Dirty dishes are piled a mile high in the sand. And the rent was due yesterday I think I sure need to wash a load of clothes but I'll get around to that tomorrow I called in Sick to work today And the foreman said to me 
no work, no pay. I have to find another job, I know. But I'll get around to that. Tonight I'm holding on to precious memories of our love. Without my angel here, it hurts like hell. I need to put the past behind and let that chapter Yeah, because but there also is the excuse to put everything off until, until tomorrow. You know, to say, well, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll try your man tomorrow, or I'm a bit nervous. Uh, and it's also somebody once described it as being a bit like taking your clothes off in public, because you, you're exposing something very personal. You know, if you write a song from a personal perspective, you're you're you're, you're opening your soul. You're to open to criticism and taking it personally. Absolutely, and if you put your head above the parapet, somebody's going to shoot at you anyway, you know, that's, and it's, it's the nature of the business. This is such a small country, uh, you know, you meet the same fellas going around today that you met yesterday, so. And uh, some people would be a little envious. People would say, I wish I could do that. And the thing is, it's there for everybody to have a shot at. Yeah. It's not rocket science, it's not brain surgery. Um, Most things aren't rocket science, it's about doing it now. It's about doing it. It's about getting down and doing it, yeah. T tell us a little bit about Johnny Cash and your experience with him now. He was wonderful. So we went out, we travelled around the country with him and opened up each each show and uh, I got to talk to him. The, the one thing I never did, would you believe this, I never got my photograph taken with him, uh, which was, which I now regret. Yeah. Because yeah. You, that's, that's, you can't do that anymore. Um, but he was lovely, he was very warm and very welcoming and he was very appreciative of what we were, we were doing. So we'd open up the show, do the 20-25 minutes, then the Carter family would come on and then Johnny Cash would come on. And he, at the time, he wasn't terribly well at the time, he was coughing, he was smoking all the time. Uh, I did say to him on one occasion, we were backstage and he was, he was smoking a cigarette and then spraying his throat with a an antiseptic spray and I said to him Johnny I said those smokes will kill you and he said you know son I can't do his voice now but he said you know son I gave up the women he says I gave up the drugs I gave up the drink he said I'm damned if I can give up these smokes and of course sadly at the end it, it killed him in the end yeah, you know? yeah. all this own heart might seem brittle traveling around this world I'm a sucker for a reel on a fiddle I love a Dublin girl I never had a million dollars God knows I got enough It don't matter what road we follow We got an old time love We got an old time love As much as I'd love to sing them all for you, I gotta hit the road. It's been a dozen days and counting, she's waited long enough. I gotta make it over the mountain, back to my old time love. We got an old time love. Seem brittle, traveling around this world. 
sucker for a reel on a fiddle. I love a Dublin girl. Always excited, always a little nervous. And the great Frank Sinatra once said, the night you're not nervous is the night you need to start worrying because you're getting too cocky. Nerves are good.